What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. For those of you who haven't heard about this, there is a big current report saying that the Golden State Warriors are intrigued with acquiring Colin Sexton, but it would not net the Cavaliers someone like James Wiseman or pick number 7 in this year's draft per sources. The upcoming extension and his overall fit make teams hesitant to acquire him. Now, if you're a Cavs fan like me, and you don't know what I mean by, or we don't know what they mean rather, by his overall fit, you know, we'll, we'll, also before I go into that, this was all being reported uh, by Evan, Evan, I don't even know his last name, it's actually not even coming up here, although his at is just, uh, M I M not Evan, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, he's apparently a Cleveland Cavaliers reporter, uh, so again, a lot of people have been reporting this. Uh, it is very interesting, but the fit that I'm talking about currently right now is basically Colin Sexton is a dude that's averaging 24 points per game, right? Absolutely insane that this dude is averaging 24 points per game. But the issue is with Colin Sexton is that he is going to be wanting a lot of money and it looks like his role is still going to be off the bench because he's not a genuine point guard. This dude is not a great playmaker and will often have many players open and he just won't pass them the ball. So it's a little bit of a weird thing and he's going to be wanting $30 million a year. Can you play a player $30 million to do what he does? The issue is he's very, very similar to Donovan Mitchell, except Donovan Mitchell doesn't get his points by just you know, hogging the ball the whole time. He gets his points very genuinely. So that's like the complete difference to him and Colin Sexton, what makes Donovan Mitchell so much of a better player. Plus, Donovan Mitchell actually recognizes his open teammates when they are there. He's still improving on it, and it's going to take some time, but at least he's better than, a, you know, than what Colin Sexton is. Right now, the Cleveland Cavaliers, so I don't think they even need to be worrying about James Wiseman. I think Jarrett Allen's got it kind of figured out. The contract will be a little bit steep, but why not, you know, bring back Jarrett Allen, I suppose. Well, if I was the Warriors, I, yeah, I probably wouldn't be looking at moving Collins, you know, pick number seven for Colin Sexton. But if the ideal situation came up and Kali Oubre was down for a sign and trade to Cleveland, I would look at you know, pick 14, a sign-and-trade of Kali Oubre, and a dude like Eric Pascal or something for Colin Sexton. That's a fair deal. If I was the Cavaliers, I wouldn't be doing that because I don't think, you know, Eric Pascal or Kali Oubre really fit into their lineup too much. I guess Kali Oubre does. Probably not Eric Pascal. Um, they need to get some more shooting here and there, and Pascal's the last guy they probably need. But pick 14 could definitely come in handy. But if you're the Cavs, you're probably not doing this trade unless you get pick uh, 7 which is not going to happen, especially from this Golden State Warriors team that is going to look that to tr you know look to trade it for an all-star. If the Warriors can't you know get an all-star, then maybe bringing in a backup point guard like Colin Sexton in to add some much-needed scoring here and there, and another ball handler would be something they could be you know kind of be focused in. But jeez, oh, there's a lot of ifs and buts to you know kind of go into this. Plus, I think they could really take a swing at Carl Anthony Towns or Damian Lillard, and they would need pick 7 and 14 and James Wiseman to both make those trades happen, which would not leave enough room for a, a Colin Sexton trade to really happen at all, which kind of just breaks it. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make really too much sense for this to inevitably happen. But the Cavaliers, I do think, will be looking to ship Colin Sexton. I just don't know if they should be trading him at all. I mean, the only team that I'd probably trade him to if I was the Cavs is the Knicks, because I think the Knicks have a lot to give up. The reported trade would actually be, um, I think it was Obi Toppin, Kevin Knox, pick 21, I think it was, something like that, and their second round pick, which was pick one for Colin Sexton. If you're the New York Knicks, you do that every day, like getting a 24 point per game scorer in for a couple picks that are never going to be better than Colin Sexton, you'd think. Obi Toppin, who will probably never get significant minutes because he's playing behind Julius Randle. And, of course, Kevin Knox, who is a legitimate nobody. If you're the New York Knicks, you are 100% doing this decision. And I don't think Obi Toppin is as big as a loss as what some Knicks fans are acting like he is. Like, he's just not. He's never probably going to play more than 20 minutes per game for this New York Knicks team, especially if he's playing behind Julius Randle. So that, of course, is just not going to happen. But... 
how this whole situation will go down will be incredibly interesting to kind of find out. And I think there's a lot for the Warriors to kind of take out of this and potentially move around. But of course, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my, you know, gaming channel and my IRL slash long channel. Don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already, which I will all be linking in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.